Hello, my darlings. Happy Monday to all of you out there and welcome to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the third part of the Creek Cabana. We are cracking on a bit more with this bar today, my loves. I've done a little bit off of camera, put some more detail in here and there so this doesn't get swamped too much in one episode. I'm probably going to maybe complete it today and tomorrow. So I reckon this will be finished. And then we can move on to a rather special family that I've got in mind for you. Which will be coming next week, by the way. I'm going to remind you guys again. Next week, I'm going to be... Go I'm, on I'm only going to be getting out three videos next week. Main reasons being, I'm going to be up in Brighton seeing friends that I haven't seen in a couple of years. Um, so that is going to be taking up all my time and that will be all let's build the world next week with the new family that I have in mind and those videos will be pre-recorded as well so just keep an eye out for them I thought I'd just remind you about that let's stop blabbering on about shit and get into building and here we are we are back at the creek cabana my darlings um so a few things I have made some more changes to the landscape and just put in some more trees and stuff same with the hedges underneath of here. I have perfected the landscaping underneath of the cabana itself. But we're still going to obviously make some um, more details and changes to the actual cabana itself. I think it looks nice. I think it looks nice as it is. But it's going to be nice to have this as like a nice sort of like seating area for to have some drinks and whatnot. But we'll definitely put in some more details together in there. Including like the, out yeah, the outside seating and whatnot. Um, you'll be pleased to know as well. I've perfected what I think is a good floor plan so we'll start down in the downstairs bar so i've managed to get a few pieces in here this is what we're going to concentrate on today the inside of the bar i think and then tomorrow what we we'll do is all the finishing touches on the outside and stuff um but yeah this is the layout of the bar so you kind of come in through this area here it's got this kind of like raised little platform area where we're going to do some nice of the tall tables with the bar stalls going on we've got a nice little bar moment here with these two like bar backdrops behind it um, and these two doors lead outside. I don't know why I've done two doors there. I don't know why. I might actually go for one door instead and do a window. I don't know, actually. I kind of like that. But we will need to perfect that outside because that is just going to make me infuriated. Very much is. Um, but yeah, lovely. Okay. And then upstairs. Oh, we've got toilets. And then obviously the karaoke kind of stage area. What we're going to dress a little bit more now together uh, and then upstairs, the only way you can get upstairs is through stairs on the outside. The outside goes up through to here and then you've got an inside door which goes into this little like, I don't know. I don't know what you would call this on the interior. I hate the way the lighting looks on all of this and I hate the way that this does that there. But, you know, I might even put a little bit of flooring there and maybe change the shape of this over here. Don't know yet. Not too fussed with that, to be honest. And what I'm just going to do up here is just put some more chairs and tables in. I don't think this area will be used much anyway, to be honest with you. I think the majority of the people will be downstairs in this area and outside. So, yes, that's it. Let's crack on. Anyway, how are you? How was your weekend, your gorgeous bunch of shits? I hope you had a lovely weekend. I really did. It was really nice. Oh, my God. I've completely forgot to say this. I saw a UFO. I'm not fucking joking. Me and my best friend were staying, well, we were camping out on some land, um, some private, but it was a farm. It was a farmland uh, on the middle of Dartmoor. It was about half 11 at night. And we'd had a, we've had a, we had a couple of tipples, had a couple of sherries, not sherries. I had a few beers. And my best friend was like, what the hell is that over there? Can you see that? And there was this light in the sky. And the way it was moving was really 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 weird no joke it came it just came directly up like this and then turned red i'm not joking split into two one red one blue and then one of them shot down really fast and the other one was hovering around a bit and then going across the sky like it was just probably one of the most nuts things i've ever seen in my life and that was it i've always had a, a massive interest in ufos and all of that kind of business but that defies explanation there's going to be people in the comments maybe it was a drone no i know what a drone would look like and that my loves was not a drone 
That was not a drone. I don't know what the hell it was, but it freaked me and my friend out. My friend was like, we're leaving. I said, like, <laughs> so they're not going to come and hurt us. Just let them be. Just let them be. Let them have their fun. <laughs> but she was like, no, I'm scared. <laughs> she, was, she was really scared. But I cannot believe it. It was one of the most craziest things that I've ever seen in my life. Um, anybody got any stories down below of any UFO stories? Have you seen anything in the skies that defies explanation? And before anybody says, maybe it was a balloon. No, it wasn't a balloon. Balloons do not split into two, change colours and then fly off at hundreds, if not thousands of miles per hour. It was crazy how fast it was. I just, I was blown away. The, oh, why did that not go on there then? How very dare you? Um... Me and my friend the whole day, the next day after we got up camping, we were like looking over to see where we seen the lights. And it was like above a forest line. So there was like a forest over there. So it was coming from the forest. So because me and my friend are majorly curious, um, we're going to go and um, scout out the forest one evening. Like the sad couple of twats that we are. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to it. I'm actually really looking forward to it. I think it'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah, I love. I like these stools. These stools are from Cottage Living and these are from University, I think. I think they go quite nicely together. Now, I'm wondering, do I want curtains up here? Maybe not curtains, maybe some blinds, actually. Let me get some blinds out. Um, can we, Should we just go for these in here? Maybe if I size them down, that would look silly, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would look silly, Agent. They need to be kind of like... I mean, that's not too bad. These aren't. I just hate the way that these fit onto the windows. They do not fit onto the windows properly. But as do none of the curtains, because all the curtains are shit in The Sims 4. Yes, they are. Oh, I can't bear them. But you guys all know that by now, how much my I have a big hate for The Sims, for the Sims 4 curtains. I really can't. I really can't. I think the only ones I semi kind of like are the university ones. But even then, the swatch is just shit. And the same with Eco Lifestyle. I think these ones here are really nice. But again, there's only a couple of swatches that I tend to use on it. Which makes me fuming. It does. Makes me fume. So, that's nice. What could we put out on the bars here? I think maybe some drinks menus. Let me find some menus. Yeah, we use these from Dine Out. I use these all the time, but they're just great. Maybe they've got like a cocktail list on them or something. Or maybe even uh, karaoke songs that they play. I don't know. I just think it would be a nice little touch to have this down here. Yes, it would. Yes, it would indeed. So, I want this to kind of be semi-rustic this bar especially with the like kind of colors and stuff that i've gone for i do want it to be kind of semi-rustic quite oldie worldy very hopefully new orleans i'm definitely going to get some palm trees in here as well i think this would be the perfect area to have some sofas and maybe a jukebox down here as well i think the perfect sofas actually would be the ones from the new pack those chesterfield sofas um should we get a bit of a color going on in here oh the red could work the red could work, but oh, that just looks good. It just looks classic. It does. I might go for the just the plain brownish one. Oh, the green. Oh, I like the green, but it's with it's very. I need to just go classic. If I went for red as well, it just it's a bit too bright for in here. I know it's got all the primary color moments going on, but I'm thinking just go for a classic. So I'm gonna go for a classic one, darling. I am. I'm going to flop one down here for starters. Can I like... No, they'd be too close if I did like this kind of moment. Yeah, no. It's a bit too close, actually. What about if I moved this one this way? Plonked that one a bit more... Oh, no, that looks weird. A bit more like that. I could put a... Oh, no, that's actually quite nice, actually. Actually, actually, that's quite nice, actually. How many times do I need to say that? Actually. But, yeah... Still can't get over that UFO loves. If I I would have recorded it, but it was miles away. And if I recorded that, it would would have just looked shit. You know what it's like when you like try and record something or take a photo of something that's miles away and it just never does it justice. So uh, me and my friend were just sat there, open mouthed, looking at each other like, what the fuck is that? We were in the middle of nowhere as well on Dartmoor, on my friend's um farm, and yeah, I swear to God, loves I. Honestly, I nearly pooped myself, but I got excited as well. I am going to get rid of that door because I'm going to put a jukebox up here. Um, do you know what that, does anybody else get like that as well when you're nervous and, but you're excited at the same time and you end up just laughing? That was me and my friend. <laughs> we, we were both shitting ourselves 
and <laughs> we didn't know what to do. We were just sat there like laughing, looking at each other all weirdly like, I can't believe what we're seeing. <laughs> I cannot believe it. We even told our friend who's, who owns this farm um, and he says he sees stuff like that all the time. We're, that defies explanation. So my Lord loves for goodness, honestly. Oh, honestly. You watch next YouTube channel, second YouTube channel, Aiden goes UFO hunting. That is going to be the, that is going to be the mantra. Yes, it is. And I don't want no one piping up in the comments going, please make this happen. <laughs> because it won't happen. <laughs> I won't be going out searching for UFOs, UFOs as much as I would love to. It's just, I don't know. It's not the vibe for me. It really isn't. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like this look down here. But I do think we need to bring in some New Orleans kind of vibes with some big leafy boys, including this one here. We'll pop one in this corner. I'm not even going to size this down because I think it would fit really well over here. Lovely. And then we'll put another one over in this corner here. Lovely. Yes. I'm very much into that. Yes. That's, that's giving me vibes, that is. That is giving me absolute vibes. I think I might need a coat peg. If I type in coat, will I be able to find that coat rack? Coat rack and clutter. Oh, there it is. Oh, well, there you are. I'll put one of them there. And I'll do... Uh, can I change the colour without it looking weird? Yeah, that's fine. And I'll put another one over on this side as well, just in case people have got coats they want to hang up. Lovely. And we definitely need to get some kind of big kind of rug down here as well. That will kind of maybe... Let me find something. Okay, we've gone for the rug of dreams underneath both where the sofas are, both sets of sofas areas. And this little walking moment here. And I think we need to put a little cocktail um, menu down here as well. I reckon this place would be table service as well. So I reckon there would be some waiters. And wait obviously that does not make sense in The Sims because that wouldn't happen. But I reckon there would be waiters kind of walking around um, in this place. It would be kind of a table serviced moment, I reckon. I'm going to move these closer. Reasons being, I do want to get some plants up here as well. And I'm thinking about going for those tacky palm trees. I just think it would it would be a moment in here. And you know my thoughts on this plant. I very much did not enjoy it. Um, oh, this one's nice as well, though. do love the fig leaf. Yeah, I think we'll maybe put a few fig leaves in here as well. Maybe. Let me just see what it looks like next to this tacky palm tree. Where are you? And here she is in all her tackiness. I do think what I'm going to do is pop one of those like there. doesn't have to be too many of them. Oh. I always forget about the platform moment. They hate being on platforms. Let me see that. Yes, yes. You don't deserve to be here anymore. I'm sorry. Yes, I think so. I do believe so. And I might even do two more here as well. So I'm going to do move you into like there. And you into like there. Prime spot for the jukebox, that table. I'm for it. Oh, God. Look how much that's cutting into that Um, bloody blind there. I can't be dealing with that. Can't be dealing with that. Um, let me just whiffle you around into a moment. Oh, uh, for it. And the same here as well. Oh, uh, for that. Yes. Yes. That's a moment in time, that, darlings. That is a moment. And I think what we need to do is get some fannies out, to be honest. Get your fannies out. That's all I can say, darlings. <laughs> do not. Thank you. Do not. And I'm going to get a couple. One of the. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to pop one of these down here. Like that. That might need to come in just a little bit more. Just because of where it is. Is that central? Oh, God, it is now. Um, And I think I'm just going to have to seductively place these other places. Maybe one above the bar. Maybe I could go a little bit smaller around here now then. I did kind of want these all along this bit, but I'm just going to have to do two of this side. I'll do one there. Let me see how that will fare. Oh, that's a bit close to that light, that. That's a bit close to that light. So what I might have to do is... do we? Will you go on the light? Let's have a look. Oh! Oh! Well, slap me on the tits, sweetie. They actually go not too bad on those lights. These lights, by the way, are from the new Cottage Living Pack. 
Oh, they actually work on them. Oh, I'm for it then. Well, we'll flop a few of these around now. I'm going to put one of them there, darlings. And I'm going to put another one there as well. Above this one. W would that touch that? Oh, it kind of would. Let's move you along a little bit more. To about there. Got to be... Got to be realistic, love, even though that is not equal now. Get in there. Thank you, please. Yes. Yes, that's better. That's the kind of vibe I wanted. Still need a little bit more greenery here. I might do something about that. Maybe on the back of this wall or something. I could do like a little leafy moment. Um. Oh, will you work in here? I mean, not really. The ones that would would be these, I think. Yeah, this would work a lot better. Just for the aesthetics we've got going in here. And I might even just whiffle them like that. And flop it to about there as well. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I think we'll leave that bare. I think we'll leave that bare. Okay, more cocktail menus on this area here. Not too much. I just want to put a few up. So I'll put like three. I'll put three so people can see them. Whiffle like that. And same there as well, please. Thank you. Oh, yes. I'm for it. I'm absolutely for that. I don't know why this keeps glitching out the back piece. I don't know why. Is it because it's got... Ah, oh, it's because it's got mirrors behind it and I went too far into the wall. Such a silly bum. Let's join those two together. You can't really see them glitching either, which is fantastic. But I do like the look of how this is turning out. I really do. Really, really do. The green definitely makes it pop. I'm looking for more areas where I could put another palm tree. And I can't see any. I cannot see any room where I know Sims would be able to walk quite freely through it. But um, but yeah, we've got it. I think the stage is practically done. I like the, how the stage looks. I don't really need to do anything more to it. I've put those curtains that came... What pack did these come with? These came with Get Famous. I've put them behind it just to give a little red backdrop moment. And I'm kind of here for that. I really am. Anyway, let's get some toilets in. We're going to get some toilets. We're just going to go for a generic looking toilet and sink combo. Like this. Yep. Yeah, perfect sink. Love this new sink from the Cottage Living Pack. It is absolutely, probably my favorite sink in the game now. Uh, and toilet wise, I would still love to see an old Victorian toilet like this. That it hasn't got the horrible um, swatches that this one does have. I would just like to see like a plain white one without the gold and stuff. Maybe a white and silver. They've got a silver one, but then the toilet goes blue. And I can't be dealing with that. Cannot be dealing. I haven't got the stomach gloves. I've not got the stomach. Um, so I'm going to flop these toilets in there as well. <gasps> Beautiful. And the same with... We just need a generic mirror. Rear, rear. Generic mirror, rear, rear. A generic mirror, really. That was a bit of a tongue twister though, won't lie. Will not lie. Um, next week, I cannot wait for you to meet the family that I have made. I have made a sim who is heavily inspired by Brie Vandekamp from Desperate Housewives. She is an absolute icon. I can't wait you to meet Elizabeth. That is all I'm going to say. But Elizabeth is coming with her family. Um, yeah, heavily, heavily inspired. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a bit far away. I know that's fine, actually. You can reach that where you go for your twos, can't you? Yeah, lovely. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait for you guys to meet them. I'm so excited about it. I really am. Okay, what I needed here is paper towels. Can I type that in paper? There we go. Paper towel dispensers. Put them in all of them. And I also put a waste bin in each toilet as well. Considering this is a kind of commercial lot, then I think it kind of makes sense. So hopefully I can get these vents into the right place. Because I wanted to put one there, one there. And I, oh, I can get one there. Lovely. So you will be wafted in the face with poo, poo fumes when you do walk up these stairs. But um, management will not take any responsibility into any fainting and falling down the stairs because of the poo fumes that come out from this toilet. Good day, the management team. <laughs> oh, Aiden, you are a twat. You really are, but I'm for it sometimes. Yeah, no, that's fine. Love the way that that banner stair, um, like glitches out of the wall i love that touch ea thank you so much for keeping that in after all these years <laughs> now i'm not moody about that in the slightest anyway non-stick rugs or non-slip rugs actually not non-stick you don't 
on stick rugs? That doesn't make sense, Aiden. Why would you want to stick to a rug? This is not when you were 18 and you used to go into these absolute dives of bars and stick to all the carpets in there. Thank you, please. Yeah, I'm for that. Absolutely for that. We've got that behind there. I like the way that this looks. I like the way that this looks on the interior in this main bar area. Um, I might do some disco lights, actually. So let me get some lights out. Um, I'll go here. And I'll whip out these ones here as well. And I'm going to flop them over to this in this general direction. Oh, fucking platforms. Um, sorry, didn't mean to swear then. Well, I did, obviously. It's me. Who am I, who am I kidding? So yeah, we can have some disco lights going on to somebody who's whoever does the karaoke and whatnot. They've got music. Have they got everything that the bar would need? They do. They've got everything that the bar would need. Um, and I'm I'm here for it. I won't lie. I am. I'm absolutely here for it. I'm gonna put you to there. I'm gonna move you along to there. Same with you, please, my love. To there. I think that's right. Mm, maybe down a little bit, this one. Here comes the Virgo. Right, and I'm going to get rid of you. Because you don't need to be here anymore, darling. You do not need to be here anymore. Um, And I think what we'll do is I'll finish off. I want to do some more chairs out here. And then I'll go upstairs and we'll do the chairs on the inside here. I've detailed up the actual outdoor balconies as much as possible. New plants. um, The windows that I wanted and where they're going to stay. Uh, so I like the way it looks. I do. So, um, yes. Yeah, so let's start down here. Nope, not there, darling. Where am I starting? I'm starting here. Starting here. So we need to think of outside tables and chairs. They don't necessarily have to be these ones up here. I do actually like them. Do they come in a white? Oh, not you. Do these come in a white? I can't remember if they do or not. Do you? Please say you do. No, you don't, do you? Oh, uh, white, but not, that's the wrong colour on top of them. Right, well, we need to find the perfect chair and perfect table combo for outside, underneath the canopy areas. So I'm going to go for these ones. The base game one and the, ta the same tables upstairs, but I've just changed the colourway of it, just so it, like, sort of, I don't know, doesn't be, isn't too dark around here, you know? Because the, the ones on top of uh, the dark black iron ones, I don't want to go for them this time. I just don't, okay? I can't explain myself. I just don't. I just don't fancy it. And I think what I'm going to do here is put in this to there. I'm um, for that. And then I'm going to do the same around here as well with these. I could probably fit another table there as well. All of these tables are not going to be used. I know that. But, you know, it's just nice to get a bit of realism into the Sims sometimes. Um, And I would see this area or bar having a lot of tables. I'm going to do a table of four here. Just to really ring that home. And they're going to flop it in that direction. So the Sims can get in and use it. Which they probably won't. As I've just mentioned. <laughs> but you know. Realism. Realism. Doing it for it. You know. I'm onto it. I'm absolutely here for it. I won't lie. I won't lie to you darlings. Won't lie to you. <sighs> Why am I? Just that, just that question. Why am I? You know? So, yeah, that looks nice, but it's missing something. First thing it is missing is lighting. I think I'm going to go for the same thing moment we've got going here. I think that looks really nice. So I'm going to do one of them there. I'm going to do another one there. And do you know what? I'm probably going to add one of these right there. Is that too high? Yes, it is. I'll put one of those there. Stunning. And then I'll do the same with the lights underneath. The same lights as inside. But we'll put them outside. Oh, what a turn of events. Inside, outside. Is that wonky? It is. Why? Stop it. Yes. Yeah, that looks nice. That does look nice. Should I go a little bit lighter with these? Because they're on the exterior. Have you got... Oh, you do have a white one. Oh, well, we'll do that then. We'll do that seeming as these are on the outside. We'll put those ones there as well. Oh, I'm for that. I really am. And I think up here, we need some kind of like plants on the wall or something. So let me go and pull out a few pieces. Pieces have been pulled. I think we're going to do a mixture of the trees that I've used in various places. Um, probably some by the entrance here. I think that would look really cute. Oh, it does. 
but I'm thinking these. Uh, I did pull out this, but I don't want you anymore. Sorry, you're not invited. Um, I'm going to do one of those there. Another one like there. Can I fit one over here somewhere? Oh, I thought that might be the case. Um, I reckon I could put it around here, though. I do you know what? I could put it there. That would look nice there as well. Oh, I'm kind of for that. Excuse me. I just burped. I'm very sorry. Very sorry. <laughs> very sorry. Very gassy. I don't know why. I don't know why. I've just had some porridge. It's probably that. But why would porridge give me gas? Why am I talking to this to people on the internet? I don't know. But we're all friends here, you know. We do talk about these things. <laughs> we do. We do talk about these things. Yeah, no, that's cut. That's nice. I do like that. These are sticking out a bit too much for me. Um, so that might change. But I think for today, we've managed to get the interior of the bar sorted anyway. And I'm happy with how it looks. I think it looks really cool, actually. Really cool. The only thing that's throwing me is that bit up there. That little... Ugh. Do you want to get rid of that? Like, just, just boost those bits out? Yes, but then it's losing all that detail. Oh, well. So tomorrow, what I'll do, tomorrow we'll come back. We're going to finish all up here. We're going to do this area. We're going to do the outside area. I still want to do some tables and chairs and stuff around here. If you've got any other ideas, guys, of what you think we could put out in these areas, including like the cabana and stuff, I think I'm about doing a grand piano up here. I think that would be quite a nice touch. And look at the views from here as well. <gasps> Imagine that. Just sitting, having your drink, overlooking the creek. I'm for it. I really, really am. Um, and then, yeah, that will be coming tomorrow. So, yeah. There we go, my darlings. Part three of the Creek Cabana is complete. I'll be back tomorrow with the final part of this build, which I'm very much looking forward to getting done because that means there is another build done for Willow Creek. Um, so the save file is not far off. I think within a month we'll be finished and complete with it and ready to upload and move on to the next world, which I'm very much excited for. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave you now. Bit of a shorter video today. Um, probably going to be the same tomorrow, but I just want to get this build complete. Um, but yes, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.